Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Goku Dominion. I'm gonna hit randomize cards a couple times, Let's see what pops up. Up, 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 up. There's a shelters game, let's just go with that. Let's play Goku Dominion. And create game. Alright, oh, if you were watching, I won the last one, but it was a very low pro ranking on him. It's a pretty close game, though. Okay, we've got Boom Air. He has not played a single game. Alright, let's play Boom Air. I mean, if I win, it won't bump me up that much. We have Embargo, Moat, Armory, Gardens, Horse Traders, Smithy, Mountbank, Pillage, Horde, Bank, and Spoils. <coughs> so for the opens, see here, we don't have... I think this is time for a Horse Traders Gardens game. Um, I could pick up an Armory. But, I don't know, I'm definitely going to open Horse Traders. Yeah, that's the spoils for pillage. I'm going to get a Horse Traders. And we're going to go Gardens. Hey, it's my first Gardens game. And that's my phone, I will check that later. Yeah, we're going to go Horse Traders. I could pick up a moat, but... If I'm going for gardens, I'll kind of want the junk Mountebank throws at me. Like, but I think what I'm going to do here is embargo Mountebank. So we do have our single little solitary village here, Necropolis. Um, and I think this may be one instance where we won't want to trash the hovel when we buy a victory card. Because we want as many cards in our deck as we can can possibly cram in there. Uh, but, I mean, one card won't make all that much of a difference, I guess. But, I mean, if I do get the embargo to throw on the Mount of Banks, then that's a card I will never see again, but whatever. Okay. I would like... Hmm. I'm going to get a mountebank here, so that I can embargo it the next time. Ah, yes. And I think when I get six, I'll want a hoard. Because, yeah, okay, this is actually a pretty damn good gardens board. We've got hoard, mountebank, horse traders, and armory. That's pretty impressive. So we'll discard you two, we've got five, we'll get a mount bank. And we're done. Oh shit, I should have bought a copper. Oh well, okay. Here we'll have five. And I think, yes, I'll embargo the mount banks, but get a mount bank. So I'll have one curse in my deck. But I'll have two mountebanks. Ha! Okay. <clears throat> I think here I'll buy. Hmm. Another horse traders. Yes, indeed. Okay, what is he going to embargo? He embargoed the golds. So for six, we're definitely going to get a horde once we get one. Wow. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, he's playing his horse traders, getting a curse and a copper. Okay, and I think, yeah, I'll get another horse traders here. <laughs> okay, this is not the best of hands. But, let's see here. If I play the horse traders, I could get a garden and a copper. Or I could play the mountebank. And I think I'm going to play the horse traders and get a garden and a copper. 
because I, I need to start buying the gardens. Okay, he has six. <laughs> I really need to hit six. That would be nice. I I don't know why he's sucking up the curses. I mean, if it's to protect himself against my mountebanks, uh, I don't know what he's doing. So we're going to get the gardens and a copper. So in, a, in gardens games, you really want to use every single plus buy that you have. Because you want those gardens as packed up as possible. So here with this three, we'll get a silver. It's really a pity that Necropolis is in this hand. And not, say, in the previous hand I had. That would have been nicer. So I could have played the Mountbank and the horse traders. But that would have netted me the same number of coins because I would have had to discard for horse traders. Oh well. <laughs> uh, getting a silver, getting a silver, he's probably going to get a silver too. We want to keep our buying power up. He's getting an... he's probably going to embargo the gardens. That would not be nice of him. Okay, horse traders here will get another gardens and another copper. This will give us five. Yeah. So he got a smithy. Seven. Impressive, but only one buy. What are they going to get? You got a bank. Okay. Horse traders. Gardens, copper. <coughs> and. Yeah, he's cursing himself often enough that I almost don't even need the mountebank. So we're gonna. Horse traders here again, get a gardens and a copper. And he's getting a dookie. Okay. Horse traders. You. You. Gardens. Copper. Ah. Uh, a horde would be awesome, but I really don't see that in my foreseeable future. Da da da. Could get a pillage, but that that won't do anything to increase the size of my deck. Yeah, I mean it might help me get to six for the horde. That's about it. Okay, he got a moat. Not even use my mount of banks anyway. Why did I even get these? But I am getting all these gardens. I already have half of them. Okay, now we'll get a horde. <coughs> I need to drink some water. So he has his doker. I've got four gardens. I need a plan to empty piles. So I well once the gardens are gone, um we've got horse traders at seven, we've got embargo at seven, we have dookie at seven. Um I think I'll probably want to go for the dookies once I get my horde. And Horde will be a great way to get around the embargo on gold. So, mount to bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Discard your curse. I mean, you're almost hurting yourself by taking the embargoed golds. Because with mount to bank, you at least get a copper with that. You increase how much your gardens do. Whereas just getting the curse, I, I don't know. That people are silly. So we're getting our horde. Okay. Alright. Garden's copper. Ugh, excuse me. I'm gonna check my text message while he takes his turn. Da -da -da. Right? Ah, he lined up his smithy with his necropolis. That was. Okay, let's get his moat. He may buy a province here, which would be the smart thing to do, but he may have too much junk. We shall see. 
Only seven. Aw. And only one boy. Oh, adorable. Dookie. Okay. Horse traders. Gardens. Copper. Gardens, 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 gardens. So here... My objective is to empty piles. And I really think... Definitely one of them is going to be gardens. Another is going to be... Hmm. Curses, maybe. I'm paying to buying curses. That would be interesting. Okay. And about another duty. Which is probably best for him. Silver. Ah! Horse traders again. This will be another garden buying turn. Just text him back, my friend. While he plays his moat. Yeah, I've got one of those old little flip phones. Oh, that he did nothing. Interesting. Yeah, so I do the you know how well now most modern phones have like a little keyboard. I still do the you press Five, three times to get the L and that one. The I forget what it's called, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing that particular thing. And the last darkness. No, I'm not trashing the Hubble because I want the Hubble. Okay, here. Need to empty piles. Need buy estates. What's he gonna embargo? I think after this little gardens game, I'm going to make some dinner. Probably tortellini with pesto, since with the acid reflux I can't do tomatoes. And probably some peas with that. And you embargo... You, <laughs> you embargo to the coppers. It's actually pretty savvy. Since he knows I'm buying coppers to sh shove up my gardens. Yes, four coins. You're gonna buy an estate. Okay. Horse traders, gardens, gardens, treasures. I think this turn we get horse traders and the state. So I think I can feasibly empty out these piles here. <coughs> here I'm gonna get a dookie. Maybe I can throw a curse into his deck. Yeah, I don't mind playing Mountbank on him now, because I have pretty much all the gardens. A vast majority of them, at any rate. You have four. Five. Okay. And I think it's likely that my gardens are worth at least three at this point. I mean, I'll check when I reshuffle. <laughs> oh goody, hoard. So I'll get a dookie and I'll get a gold. A gold with my dookie. Dookie, 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 dookie. A dookie, 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 dookie. Okay, this will empty the dookie pile. You get a curse, and I think I might just end up buying curses. Okay, with a gold. That is two empty piles. And, okay, so 31. Yeah, my gardens are at least worth 3. My gardens are worth more than dookies at this point. Or, I need to get them worth more than dookies. So here... He has more curses. My gardens are currently 3 points. I need to make 4 purchases. Like, legitimately, I need to make 4 purchases. <laughs> Four of them. Six, what are you going to buy?
this this game need I need to take four more turns so I can buy four more things and get my gardens worth more than his dookies. At this point I'm gonna get an estate. Okay, we'll definitely play horse traders here. They don't want the game to end just yet. This will give me seven, and I'll get a horse traders and a silver. So I only need to make one more buy after that, and then we can just empty the estate pile. Yeah, I like that. I like that plan. Are you going to buy a copper to give yourself a curse? Because that would be silly. Do it! Do it, motherfucker! Do it! Buy a copper and give yourself a curse! Do it! Or not. Okay. Okay, oh, awesome. And looks like I'm spending six on an estate. <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay, estate. Okay. Oi! Did it not play my horde? I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Because that should have played my horde. You have one coin. You have one coin. That's impressive. Is he going to buy the last estate? He'll probably buy the last estate. Okay, let's see who won. My gardens beat his dookies. Ha ha ha! Alright, and there goes my phone again. Well, that is how you successfully play a horse trader's gardens game. Thank you for watching. Let's see how much my score bumped up. I am now 66. Thank you for watching. Come again next time.